What's going on, guys? It's your boy MC Tyler T back with another episode of Guys Being Dudes. We're back with season five. We got a pretty star studded cast this Monday evening. We got with me Stephanie Gabry, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, right. <laughs> also known as Logan Bennett. That's my alter ego. I- it's a pretty nice one. I, I mean, mean, I'm with it. It has its like perks it. and flaws. No judgment. I don't, I don't like the paparazzi. <laughs> so before we start, we got to give a huge shout out and thank you to KSLU 98.9 FM for allowing us to use their facility to record. Uh, also, check out the BEA YouTube channel at SELUBEA on YouTube. We got some cool videos coming up this semester. A lot of cool content. Let's get started, shall we? So, um, how are y'all feeling today? How are y'all? Tired. Good. I'm, uh, I'm a little stressed. School is like, I feel like when you get to September, you realize like, oh, this is why I didn't miss school. Because all summer, you're like, oh, man, I miss I miss being around everyone. Yeah. I miss doing things. And then once you get to like the second month, you're like, this is why I didn't the miss The first it. month of the fall semester seems to move faster than the first yeah. month of the spring semester. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I have a five-page pa- essay due tomorrow. <laughs> what class? Uh, what class is it, honestly? <laughs> English. It's an English class. Which one is English it? English 101. One, a 101? Really? Yeah, wow. 101. Yeah, yeah. And I have not uh, st- like started writing the paper. It's due tomorrow? Yeah. Good luck. How yeah. many? I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, everyone I mean, does it's, that. It's a draft. It's a draft. Oh. oh. Okay. So that's not... It's not like dude. Yeah. Like, to be yeah. honest, to be honest, every time professor was like, oh, your draft is due tomorrow, I never did it. No, no, I'd just be like, yeah, I just ha- haven't gotten an idea yet. Can I give a shout out to my teacher? He's great. Who is he? His name is Jason. Jason Kirk. I, I was hoping it wasn't Randall Frederick. Uh, I don't know. If he's you like still great. work here, Randall Frederick, you are nice, but you are not a very good <laughs> professor. <laughs> no. How, so how many pages of your draft do you have done? Uh, how about the number zero? Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From the that's way me you before. were. That's, that's going to be me before my 391 paper. <laughs> it's going to be me before everything. <laughs> For the way you were talking, it was like, uh, it doesn't seem like she has a lot done. I know. It's a, you know, it's a memoir. It's it's easy. I already know what I'm writing about. All right. So we're going to get started with our topics today. And I think we've got a pretty good lineup. So we're going to be talking about the great debate, Powerade or Gatorade. But I'm also going to list the other topics so you guys can know what we're talking about today. Uh, we're going to be asking the question, why do humans like pub- pumpkin spice? Uh, we're going to be talking about the greatest chant of all time. Um, are we cutting the cable or are you team cable? Um, what's one food you would serve your worst enemy? Um, if you were going to be an animal, what animal would it be? Our question of the week is back. And then name your three-man apocalypse team. I really hope this one's fun. So, uh, great debate. Powerade or Gatorade? Which team are you guys on? Gatorade. Gatorade. Gatorade, really? (laughs) Yeah. Tell me why. Give me, give me, give me reasons. Well, before I tell you why, are you going to be devil's advocate or do you agree with us? Oh, I, I actually really don't have a preference. It's oh, just okay. whichever one's in the fridge. I like both equally, probably. I think there are different, like, there are benefits to both flavors, in my opinion. There are benefits to both. Yeah. And, like, I want to hear y'all's y'all's opinions before I tell y'all why I think they're about equal. You, you so. can go. Oh, I can go. Okay, so I personally prefer Gatorade because that's what I grew up with. Mm-hmm. Like, I never had Powerade available in my, you know. So, like, it wasn't available in your no, no, wow. no, 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 no. Like, I, like, it became a thing later on. Like, Gatorade has always been the thing. So I was going like, to say, yeah. I don't remember a life without Powerade. Like, it's just always been Powerade and Gatorade. It's always just been the two drinks you had. It's, it's like, back I mean, there may have been just... a time in my life where I've, I had never had a Powerade before. And then eventually, originally, and then had a Powerade. So, I mean, that's interesting. So, y'all are Team Gatorade. I am Team yeah. Gatorade. Any reason why? I think, to me, Gatorade is smoother. Like, smoother? every time I have Gatorade, it just it's really smooth, and it really gets the electrolytes back. Because, you know, that's its purpose, is the electrolytes. Yeah. Um, every time I have a Powerade, like, it does its job, but it's, like, I feel like it's the difference between, like, offering Kool-Aid and normal Kool-Aid. It's, like, ah, oh, it just goes down rougher, you know? I feel that. Um, my thing about Gatorade is, and this may be a complete placebo effect, I'm pretty sure they both have the same amount of sugar in it. But I've always felt that Powerade was more sugary and less like impactful like from an athletic standpoint than Gatorade was. But also in that same accord, I've always thought that the flavor profile of like Powerade was better than a lot of flavors. Like the lemon-lime Powerade is better than the lemon Gatorade. 
And then the grape Powerade is better than the grape Gatorade. See, I would never drink the grape of either. Well, I don't see, like grape's grape. my favorite flavor. Oh. So the what flavor? Grape. Oh, grape. I heard gray, and I'm like, is that a flavor? <laughs> it's like the. But yeah, no, grape's my favorite flavor. So like, okay. I think grape Powerade's ten times better than grape Gatorade. God. But like, it's really and truly sometimes just whichever one's cheaper when yeah. I go to the gas station. But like, those are both my like go tos instead of water. Like, if I want something that's not water, which is sometimes, you know, you just want something sweet, it's either Gatorade or Powerade. Can I say something about, like, the fact that I feel like everyone gets Gatorade or Powerade from a gas station <laughs> when it's infinitely yeah. cheaper to buy it in bulk well, see, like, at Walmart? Yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm with that, but, like, just when you're going somewhere. Yeah. Like, it's a lot easier just to pull into a gas station. Oh, yeah. Like, when I'm at Walmart, I buy my stuff, like, 75, it's like 72 cents for mm-hmm. a Powerade. Which you pay like two dollars and twenty nine cents for one at a gas station. That's the thing when you're a kid. you're paying for the electricity that they they yeah. use to cool it, which is I, I guess it, it shouldn't be one dollar and fifty cents. When you're a kid, Just drop it. <laughs> when, when you're a kid, like you're going to play football or soccer, or basketball or whatever, huh. you can't like a Walmart isn't always as easily accessible as like yeah, a for sure. a gas station. You know, yeah. a gas station's probably going to be by the park that you're going to play at so it makes sense it's the convenience of it cool <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah i'm you like yeah it's any just, other thoughts you just like it more because it's more accessible it's just it's just like i don't know as i said it's just like it has been there the whole time like mm-hmm. Please sponsor us, Gatorade. No. I love, <laughs> I love Gatorade. We get a message from Pepsi. We are very interested in your podcast. I would cry. All yeah, right, the so happiness, we please. settled the debate. Uh, I'm, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'll choose. It just depends on the mood. And then y'all are both team Gatorade. Yeah. So I feel that. Um, I feel that's like the Pepsi Coke debate. It really is because mm-hmm. one's Pepsi, one's Coke. So, yeah. okay. So next question, I have to ask you: Why do humans like pumpkin spice? Like, do you guys like pumpkin spice? I don't. I love pumpkin spice. Do you know I'm what guilty. you want to know what I call it? Want to be cinnamon. <laughs> I call it want to be cinnamon so bad. Like ass. I'm just like wow. I actually had a conversation related to that. Like one of my friends, uh, he posted like a cinnamon or a pumpkin spice Starbucks drink, and mm-hmm. his girlfriend posted on her story like, "Look at this fool! Could someone go to Texas and slap him for me." And I, I texted her. I was like, yo, I'm on the same page. Like, pumpkin spice, not a great flavor. Cinnamon's okay. I can get down with cinnamon. Cinnamon's okay, in my opinion, but not pumpkin See, spice. See, I like cinnamon. But, yeah. like, pumpkin spice, I feel like, is, like, water. It's kind of like watered-down cinnamon. And they're, like, passing it off as just the flavor of pumpkins. Ooh. I don't even understand why it's called <laughs> pumpkin spice. Because it doesn't taste anything like pumpkins. That is true. Like, it confuses me. I, I'm not a big pumpkin spice fan. Um, it's weird that it's a seasonal thing. <laughs> like I find it awkward. It's like just just let it be. But then again, it wouldn't be as popular yeah. if it wasn't a seasonal thing. So, it's I like mean, the the McRib. Yeah, no I would, one would. No one would care if the McRib. I, was I would a, never order a McRib in January. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, um. that's just not happening. Okay, I have I have an input on that. Yeah. Like, okay, so y'all remember the cinnamon challenge? Yeah. That thing. Okay, so I did that. Same. And I choked into thin air like everyone else did. <laughs> she so- Thanos to herself. <laughs> you just see Stephanie go away, and all of this is a clump of cinnamon falls to the ground. <laughs> Quite literally. So I'm like, you know, I I lost like kind of my love to cinnamon, but it's not like I hate it. I don't hate it. I like it. I like it very much. It's just not my choice. And when I got pumpkin spice, I'm like, ah. So yeah. It's like Stephanie's. Like, Oh. <laughs> like, I've never tasted it. I came here a year ago. Fun fact, I'm from Honduras. But I came here a year ago. Yeah. And I was just like, what is this beauty? Why was I not introduced What in the <laughs> world have I been... What have I been missing out on this entire time? I think... I just... I don't know. I just think it's kind of overrated. It it's is like overrated. It's like one of those things that's like when you taste it, it's like, yeah, it's good. Yeah. But it's like not like a whole month's worth of marketing good yeah last year that i came here for the pumpkin spice and everything because i just came here i didn't come here for college i came from for the pumpkin spice you came all the way to (laughs) southeastern for the pumpkin i'm kidding but the point is i (laughs) just chilling in honduras and it's like mom i'm going on a plane and i'm getting some pumpkin spice (laughs) 
oh, I'll be back next time, next day, no, be you back know, soon. Honey. You know what's the thing though? Like after a month of of constantly consuming it, I really retired. And ask me right now, the season, you know, the pumpkin spice season yeah. just started, and I have not gone to Starbucks to get a pumpkin. Well, spice. see, that's the thing. It's like people have so much of their fill, they get tired of it mm-hmm. by the end of the month. That's literally and what then happens. Stop it, and they do something else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like if I were Starbucks, I'd do like once a month stuff. Like I would, I would like make it like huge like Herb make another like make another like business defining flavor yeah and then release it bi-monthly i think that'd be so, cool steph why like what is your favorite thing about pumpkin spice like what is what is it that makes it so great to you the smell the honestly smell. at first i'm like oh yeah the taste but then the smell the actual so, smell <laughs> the <laughs> smell is nice i'll get I, I, you can buy me a pumpkin spice candle all day and, and i'll just, light yeah, it yeah and you like yeah. But, like, I'm not drinking something because of how it smells. <laughs> Steph just buys a cup and she, like, smells it and throws it okay, away. Okay, okay. As soon the, as the it's fla- cold. <laughs> the, the flavor is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But I grew tired of it. So yeah. I, I just now smell it. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So uh, on to the next question. This one's kind of an odd question. But it, it, it got me thinking because football starting back, you know, started back this weekend. And uh, my friend was talking about the Jets chant, you know, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. And he's talking about how that's the greatest football chant of all time. And, like, of course I disagreed with him because, you know, the Jets don't have anything good. So (laughs) the greatest chant of all time, what do you guys think? Like, think of, like, all the chants in the world. Like, what do you think is the most iconic chant that's ever existed? So in the middle of um, you listing off the topics, I think Stephanie asked me what a chant was. (laughs) So can you you demonstrate the Jets chant? So it's like... J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Oh god! Gotcha, and so, like, gotcha. say, like, you're at a sporting event or something, yeah. and like they're like cheering something, like, um, go let's Tigers. go, let's go, blank blank, da 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 yeah. da. So it's like a chant. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, so, do like, you have a favorite chant? Um, it's not really the favorite. It's the greatest. It's the greatest. So like, I, the Who Dat chant's my favorite. Wait, but like, can I hear it? I have never heard that. The Who Dat chant. Yeah, I've never heard. It's it. just a bunch of people screaming Who Dat, Who Dat, Who Dat. They're saying gonna beat them Saints. Oh. And it's like when you get a huge crowd, like a dome that yeah. does it. It's like you get shivers. Oh. Like it, so it's super, super cool. Is there? Uh, this is gonna sound really ignorant, but is there like a um. Like a soccer team in yeah, Hungary. Yeah, I, I, so yeah. I, that's what I was about to ask. Do y'all have like a chant? Okay, w- there's like the the generalized like chant that is like mm-hmm. ole 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 ole. And that's See, that's like, that's one of the, th- the ones I was thinking of. That's like yeah. a really like popular, popular chant. One. Yeah. Like I'll be call, playing Call of Duty sometimes. I'll be like ole 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 ole. Who <laughs> brings the FIFA on? Ole. It's literally like, that's the most. There popular. are some there are some maps in Call of Duty that have like a Spanish like a like a Hispanic vibe. Yeah. yeah. And they'll play the music in the back, and I'll be trolling my friends and be like ole 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 ole. So like that. yeah, I was thinking that one. That one's up there. Yeah. Um, I think all time with the greatest chant is the let's go dun dun. It's like the most everyone uses it. Like Little League team, they're gonna put yeah. that name in there. Let's go, you know, knights. Da, 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 da. Like it's so like universal. It's like the most widely known. I think it's I think it's also really like great. Like it can fit with anything. Like let's go Logan dun dun oh, dun dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> like think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Let's go. I don't know. KSLU. Dun, yes, dun, let's dun, go. Dun, dun. See what I'm saying? Like, it yeah, just fits sure. with anything. That's why I think it's the most universal. I think it's the most versatile. I think it's the greatest chant. There's one chant that I have. I think it's for the Barcelona f- soccer team. Mm-hmm. I think it's like, I'm not sure, so please do not attack me <laughs> if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's like... All the comment warriors that we have. <laughs> All the Barcelona fans. I, I'm not a fake fan. I swear <laughs> I'm not. This goes this goes viral on Twitter. <laughs> All Barcelona sports fans. What is this girl talking about? <laughs> it's like vamos Barça, dun, 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 dun. arriba arriba Barça. It's like that's that's like the really that popular. Sounds lit. One. It, it's pretty it cool. I can vibe to that. I feel like almost any like soccer chant I've heard has beat any like American chant. Because <laughs> no! every time I every time I watch the World Cup, I'm like, oh my god! I would they get so kill. excited. They it's, get it's, so excited. It's intense. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we, chants are cool, right? We yeah. like them. Yes. All right. So moving on to the next thing. This is this topic. Me and Logan have talked about extensively, mm-hmm. and like, uh, you know, group chats or whatever. Cutting the cable. Are you guys cutting the cable? I know you are. Yeah. So this is more of a question for Stephanie. Ooh. Well, are you cutting the cable? She, 
Wait. as far as like cable <laughs> you know what i'm gonna say huh go ahead Give oh, my well, you're an ra yeah. yeah so you get free cable there's no reason to cut a free cable <laughs> yeah but i still no like reason i'm gonna sorry. sound like really really like bad but hey i don't have a tv so either or like streaming has, but streaming has become such a big thing I don't find the need of so having a So you've cut the cable even though you've got the cable. The cable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel that. So, like, I'm in the mi- middle because, like, my grandparents pay for TV. So when mm-hmm. I'm at home, I'm going to watch the TV that's yeah. there. Yeah. Like, all the football games that I want to watch are there. I'm going to watch it. Like, there's no ifs or buts about it. It's there. Gotcha. So, like, but, like, at my apartment, I'm not paying for cable. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Like, I've got everything that I could have at my disposal. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so... I just, you know, a lot of people are cutting the cord now. I think it's really cool. It's like giving it to these cable companies that are ch- upcharging you. Yeah. I feel that when, you know, Disney Plus comes by, cable is just going to be like, Disney Channel, what? Really? Yeah. What's no, going I really think that Disney Plus is going to change the streaming game. Yeah. Like, I think it already has so much. I really think it's about to do something crazy. I know. Like, I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited, too, because they're, like, bundling it with Hulu and ESPN Plus, yeah. which are both things that I already have. Yeah. So it's like, I'm pretty excited about it, but, yeah. like... It's a monopoly. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that... And the, <laughs> but I love Disney. That's I'm okay thing. with... Okay, so here's my thing, right? Go ahead. Go I ahead. don't like monopolies, but as long as it benefits me, I'm not going to be... I'm not going <laughs> to be a hater. I feel as long as it benefits me, I'm not going to complain about it. Like, if it, if it keeps, like, you know, giving me quality stuff to watch, giving me quality things to have... Not gonna complain about it. I just don't think that's a smart thing to do. Yeah. My thing about everything, everyone making their own streaming platform. Because I, I read this article that a bunch of Netflix's like top shows, like Friends and all they're their all Disney shows, out. they're all backing up because every one of those networks is about to start their own streaming thing. The cutting the cord like phenomenon started because Netflix and Hulu and online streaming things for sports started to come out. But when you start to have all these different streaming options, what's the point? Because you're eventually gonna be paying the same amount that you would as paying for cable. So it's gonna it's gonna get really weird really soon. The thing that I was about to say was it's about to create an even bigger phenomenon because there's gonna come out with some company that's gonna get a bundle with each of those, yeah. and they're gonna start they're gonna start power playing this cable stuff. It's either gonna be really good for the viewers or really bad, and it's interesting. It and depends ju- on what you're interested in. This is a theory, but just imagine if because I feel that when Disney Plus comes in, Netflix is gonna lose people. Yeah. Just yeah. Imagine, Netflix is already losing people yeah, daily. Just mm-hmm. imagine if Netflix decided to like bundle up with people too, and then it's like a constant competition of Disney Plus. Right, so Netflix is probably going to make a make a move to make a power play, yeah. like buying yeah. something or selling. Because they're going to die really soon if they don't. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Because they're like as much as there I'll are. S- yeah, well, I was about to say what also scares me about. We're going to move on to the next topic with this, yeah. but what also scares me about um, cutting the cord and stuff and all these things moving to like different platforms mm-hmm. is there are going to be a lot of people with a lot of cut off information flow yeah. if yeah. that happens yeah. and it scares me that we won't all have the same we all as a society have gotten to the point where we all had a pretty basic standard information flow so I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see how the information flow is going to change yeah gotcha. calm major thoughts here okay. hey, hey there we go so if there was one food that you would serve your worst enemy I know Logan's answer what would <laughs> what it be is, what do you think my answer is I mean, like pork. Pork. Huh? All right. Well, I don't. <laughs> the thing is, I don't eat pork. That doesn't mean that my worst enemy doesn't eat pork. Like, I don't. I don't. Yeah, know but that. you you always talk about it's toxicity or whatever. So you want to kill your worst enemy? <laughs> no, I'm just fine. But like, think about <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. it. Like, <laughs> no. All right. The food I would serve my worst enemy is definitely a durian. Like, I still, I still want to what a durian. So if you don't, you don't know what a durian is. No. It's a really smelly, pungent fruit. That like as soon as you cut it open, people have thrown up because of the smell. Like the smell is awful. Uh. But the, apparently, you know, you smell something bad. You go to taste it. Yeah. You won't like the taste, do you? No. There are people that hate the smell but love the taste. Wow. That's what's so weird about it is that like some people still hate the taste. Yeah. But some people love the taste and hate the smell. And it's like that's kind of like defies what we know about our taste because a lot of our taste comes from smell. So I'll definitely serve them up some durian if they like it. I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll sh- serve them up some uh, badly cooked puffer fish because that, that can actually, you know. Anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> Anthrax. Is that really a food, though? No. Yeah. No. 
I think I'd serve my worst enemy slightly underdone chicken. Oh so my God. they oh think no, that's slightly evil. underdone. So they think it's like, oh, this chicken's really good. And it's it, you know, it seems good. And they get salmonella. <laughs> this chicken's juicy. <laughs> <laughs> think about it though. Yeah. It's like it's on the brink of being good chicken, so they're enjoying themselves. Make sure because I mean I'm luring them into a false sense of security. Oof. What you gotta do is if you're gonna do that. Because you know, everyone looks at their chicken and it's like, oh, is it cooked? Make sure I cut open my chicken every time. Yeah, I eat it. Ma- yeah. make sure even fried chicken. It's in a dimly lit room, so they're kind of just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Eh. Or oh, like a movie theater. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's that's tough. All right, Steph, what's your number one food? I personally, I completely hate it, and I'm gonna say olives and pickles. <laughs> Lace, so I, I hey, wait, wait, wait. Le, 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 like, if you're serving me pickles, I'm like, thanks. <laughs> well, 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 depends because I can, I'm gonna lace them with like hot oh. sauce. Oh, hot and, sauce. And, oh, okay. And poison. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it just gets worse. Hot <laughs> sauce. Just, just oh. I'm gonna lace them. Up. Oh, with <laughs> hot sauce. Oh, <laughs> and poison. Oh, <laughs> okay. that's all I could think of, honestly. I feel that. This is a good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, okay. okay. So, um, if you were going to be an animal, which animal would you choose? Do you want me to go st- go first? Ahead. So, like, I was in the producer's booth when you asked this last last mm-hmm. podcast. I was like, oh, man, <laughs> I have so many great answers. And I think I, like, over two weeks I was thinking about this. Because usually we don't have the pleasure of knowing the question beforehand. Yeah. So I had an unfair advantage. I think I would be a tortoise. Tortoise. Yeah, they, they live, live so long. So long. Yeah. So long. That's a solid choice. Thank you. And it's like they don't have to do a lot. Nope. But the thing about being a tortoise, though, in this climate, in this environment, yeah. is you're very susceptible to, you know, trash and like straws and stuff. So you you live in with a with, with a a gamble here. Yeah. But they do live a long time. But with how worse the climate's getting, do you think that that's a solid choice to live a long time as a tortoise? So that brings the question. Are you choosing a time? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm about to ask, do I have the knowledge of a tortoise or do I have the knowledge of me? Because if I'm, if I'm. The a, premise of the question was that you get to live like a, uh, basically you get to live a day as an animal. Oh, okay. So you get to experience life as an animal. <gasps> do I not have any prior instincts or knowledge as a human is it like a clean slate <laughs> that's really like a <laughs> you're far reach into the cr- you're I thought about far it. Logan. <laughs> but that's the thing is that like if i it had, changes the answer yeah s- s- just <laughs> <laughs> an animal that you'd want to experience life as. penguin penguin okay yeah. that's cool that's but cool too tortoise is if we didn't have a declining climate if you're right. if you're choosing your your life around yeah okay okay <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> All right, Steph. Okay, so I have two choices. So a really cool one is the panther, in my opinion. Mm. But that's dope. The one that I relate to the most, that I think that should be like my role as an animal, is a sloth. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing for sloths. Like y'all give me a sloth. I love watching sloths like online. Yeah, it's really so cute. adorable how like they're just like. I love them. I have. It's a- like, and it's so crazy to me to think that their brain is working 100. Yeah. percent And it's working 20 times slower than ours is. Yeah. But like, they would never know that they're going slower. It's so crazy. I want to like, be a slow so bad. A slow so, so bad. Cool. Like, come on. So like, yeah, I don't remember what my answer was to be honest with you. Uh, you didn't give it. Aren't you gonna give your? Answer oh, at, at the, the end. end? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't. Have you know an what? Ditch the plant, the panther, Wakanda forever, whatever. It's like I- I'll go straight to a <laughs> sloth. Straight sloth. <laughs> straight sloth. Mm-hmm. Did you know this is this is actually like going a little bit away from being cute? Sloths sometimes, you know, they mistake their arms for like branches. Yeah. When they're in the tree. <laughs> no, don't and tell they me. Fall out. No. And they fall out. No. I know I hate it, but I actually found a video of it happening. No. It sucked. No, don't you dare to no, show that. No, I would that never to me. show I'll it. Cry. I, would, I saw cry. a video of a sloth doing that. Yeah. And he fell in the water. And, like, there were people there videoing, and they went and they rescued the sloth, and they got him out, and they put him back on a tree. And then he does it again. (laughs) (laughs) They're adorable, though. They're so cute, man. All right, so this is the last question. This is the most important one. Oh. So, (laughs) uh, me and Logan are both looking at my phone because we know the game just kicked off, so (laughs) trying to figure out what's going on. Um, If you were to have three people to go into the apocalypse with, who are you choosing? 
Three people. Anybody in the world. You go first. Oh, I go first. Yeah. In the world. world. Could it be fictional? Yeah. Okay. Deadpool. Solid Deadpool. That dude. <laughs> that dude. Okay. I just see that I can survive with him. Uh, Einstein. I'm gonna throw Einstein in there. They have to be alive. They have they to be have like to be al- functioning rel like functioning relevancy. So like they have like. They have to be like if they're a fictional character, they have to be relevant now, okay. and if they're a live actual human, they have to be alive right now. So you can't like farm pick like the greatest people of all time. <laughs> Damn it. That makes sense. Okay, so Deadpool. Yeah. Big yeah. time Deadpool. Hmm. This is tough. This is like actually tough. You know what? I'm gonna say Usain Bolt. That's a. <laughs> he can run. That's <laughs> a solid. Uh, well, he can hunt. Uh, he I, can, that that yeah. speed will help him hunt. That's yeah. a solid idea. Yeah, 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 and I think my third one. Also, yeah. Geographical advantages. Yeah. With his skin color, he can survive anywhere. Oh. Yeah, he would be able to bear heat much better yeah, than me. Yeah, that's or really you. a solid choice. Yeah. So I, okay, can we come back to the third one later? Yeah, I, yeah, my yeah. brain. Yeah, yeah. Is we'll go to Logan and yeah, then we'll come back to yours. Okay. So I might have to come back to the third one too. So I was thinking, Keanu Reeves. Yes. He was one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, what, I'll change mine. <laughs> what's the guy? Oh, Elon Musk, because he's just super smart. Like he would just invent yeah. a machine to prevent the apocalypse. I would just be like, "Hey, I never thought about what it. you got I'm working." That's really smart. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of a third person. You said fictional, Ken. Yeah, fictional. Because now I've done two real people. I feel like I owe it to like a yeah, nah. Come back to me. I really can't. I I was thinking about Iron Man, but he's dead, so I can't. I can't <laughs> no! say. Spoiler. About it. No. Um. So definitely one of mine is I want some comedy, but also someone with smarts. And I've been thinking about this a lot. I'm going David Dobrik. He, yeah. Hey, think about it. He is very. In, he's intuitive with his ideas. Okay. He's a smart kid. Yeah. I think yeah. I think I'm going David Dobrik. He's funny. You know, gives and me he's some rich. comedy. And he's rich. <laughs> Well, I mean, in the apocalypse world, money doesn't make a difference. But he's got a lot. Maybe his power, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Shaquille O'Neal. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. That boy big. Yeah. <laughs> he big. And then um, I hadn't thought about the third one. Yeah, the third Shaquille one is O'Neal. like. So, like, okay, Steph, you go, and then I get I get the same amount of time to think about my third one that y'all do. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I was going to go, like, businessman route. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say Bob Iger. You know who Bob Iger is? CEO no. of Disney. Oh, okay. So if you think of that way, he can pull the connections eventually. Even though it's in an apocalypse, apocalypse scenario, just think of this okay. through. Like he, okay, we have we have a uh, Deadpool, we have Bob Iger. Yeah. Which well, one was the other one? Which one was Does one? Disney own Deadpool yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he can write in that Deadpool has like <laughs> like super strength. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usain Bolt was your Usain other Bolt. One. Yeah. Like I think that's a solid team. Like just think of it through one one is like super mega fast. The yeah. other one is freaking immortal. Yeah. And the other one is just a businessman. He has the brains for it. And for I don't sure. have the brains for it. And I don't have the I don't have any of those, but they have it. <laughs> um I was thinking, you know, fantasy and i was like thinking like all right what are some good like fantasy apocalypse movies and i thought zombie land and i was like let's not go fantasy i'm gonna go real again and just say michael. bill bill murray oh, i was thinking maybe michael Rooker. that would have been a solid idea what about mario bros <laughs> <laughs> some, get some luigi just get some luigi time just all go. right so my answer and this one goes for everything survival hunting whatever whatever barry allen Mm-hmm. Yes, agreed. I literally have someone that can break the sound barrier. Yeah, do whatever I need to do. I mean, I have, <coughs> and all three of these people that I have all have intellects that are very. One's a very good analyst. One's a very good idea guy, and one's a scientist. You don't have one for the memes, though. I do. That's I got me. Bill Murray. <laughs> David Dobrik's made thirteen million you're dollars right. off an old man. Yeah, no, you're right. Dude, what's the difference between Barry Allen and Usain Bolt? Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that one. All right, so this comes to the end of our episode. Uh, Stephanie has to go. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, She's got an adult meeting to attend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to life. be adult. So we're going to run the end of this podcast. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming on. Um, for we're going to sure. be back next week with another episode. So uh, tune in next week to see uh, what kind of shenanigans we get into. But uh, for MC Tyler T. 
Stephanie Gabry. Logan Vincent Bennett, also known as Logan Van Buren. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.